This is the third step in following up on a, on a conversation. So at this point, what we've done is we've logged a call, we've uh, created a new task, and now we're going to uh, create a new event. So we select uh, the new event tab, and we're presented with these options. So we're going to, and again, these are the required, uh, although required becomes a default. So we're going to schedule a meeting. And let's say we're going to do it uh, later this afternoon. Let's call it, uh, um, uh, let's call it 3 o'clock. Uh, for an hour, we're going to do it with Deb. And related to, we're going to relate this to an opportunity. That way we can access the information when we need to. And again, the buffer, we had already saved this one. And we're going to do it at their corporate offices. Uh, and what we're going to do is, uh, offices, I'll spell that right. Anyway, so I'm going to save this now. And what that does is to add to the queue of next steps a meeting. Now, there are two different ways that we can get uh, to find out this information. Uh, the first is going to the home page. And your home page may be different, but notice that uh, here we have a today's event uh, section and we've got a meeting scheduled. We can also view a calendar here. Uh, the default way to get there as well is to go here to the calendar. This shows that we have a, a meeting scheduled, and we can also uh, let's let's go ahead and let's schedule one more. So we're going to go uh, back to Deb's record, and we're going to schedule a new event, and we're going to add it. So I've built out a new event, and now I'm going to save that, and we now pick up an additional event at 3 o'clock. We also have a 4.30. If we float over it here, it actually provides a little more description. Um, we're going to see that also when we switch to the calendar. In checking our, our home page, we see that our meeting is there, again, with more description. And then I've also put in there uh, just a placeholder meeting uh, dinner with Deb. Um, but what's great, again, the more rich you provide, you can provide lots of description on that subject line, and that'll you know, help, help you out uh, as you try and understand what you've got going on. Now, if we flip over to the, the calendar section, uh, what we're able to see is this dinner that I scheduled uh, at, for a half hour, quick dinner. Um, when you float over the item, you get uh, the, the information. Same way here, you float over it, you get the information. Uh, but there's no information to store here. Uh, the other interesting thing you can do is, from any of these, what you can do is, uh, if I'm going to open this as a new tab, uh, here's where you can add additional information around description. But if we go back to the calendar, actually more valuable than, than this calendar, since you're probably using uh, your, your, your Gmail or, or Outlook calendars. If you go into uh, calendar options, you can create a new calendar. And let's say we're going to create a new calendar uh, based on contact. And what I want to do is, and you can, what happens is you can select uh, any field you care to. So let's just say I'm going to call this birthday. And um, the field that we're going to be looking at is birthday. And the field we want to display is um, full name. But we could also have put in here a, a description field or anything else, because again, when you, when you float over it, it'll show you what's going on. Uh, we don't need to uh, talk about an end time, because we're just going to do it as a date. You could also apply a, a list filter to be able to get a, a specific look. But let me just show you how this is going to play out. If I click Save. What I did was, when I look at Deb's record, uh, what we put out there was a birth date for her. Uh, and this could have been a renewal date or uh, you know, their start date with the company or anything else you want to carry. But it can come over as a, as a way of being able to capture. So what it's here is displaying this information. 
and it's displaying it on my calendar. So I'm able to both uh, either show it or, or not show it uh, and make that work. Anyway, thanks for listening, and I hope that's helpful. We're now going to go on to how to send an email as a follow-up within a contact record.